with AOC, she's a big deal right now. She was recently on a New York radio uh, show called Hot 97. Now, on Hot 97, she said some pretty uh, damning things about Israel. And one thing she said, and I'll quote this, she says that Israel is a criminal country, not Syria or Yemen or Lebanon or Egypt or Libya or every other Mid Eastern country that executes gays does not protect women from rape. Slavery is illegal, et cetera, et cetera. Um, what do you think about this here, Barry? It's, it's an amazing concept, Jermaine, as you led into the intro. In the Middle East, the countries there are stuck in the early Middle Ages in terms of their societies. They're following, for the most part, a very ancient and barbaric interpretation of the Quran. In the countries that you outlined, Lemon, uh, sorry, Yemen, Syria, Egypt, um, the Libya. UAE, Saudi Arabia, and so on, if you're in one of those countries and you're a woman, which is half the population, you have rights that are a small percentage of a man's rights. For example, God forbid a woman is raped, she can't testify against a man. In fact, if she does and doesn't produce several witnesses to the rape, she will be accused and convicted of adultery and very well may be whipped, imprisoned, or put to death by stoning. And for those of your viewers who don't know what that is, they take the woman, they bury her up to her neck so only her head is sticking out, and then they drop big rocks on her head until they kill her. It's a wonderful culture. In addition, mm -mm. if you happen to be gay, for the most part, that's death by hanging, and on and on and on. These are countries that have slavery. I don't mean in ancient times, Germain, I mean today. You can go into the slave markets in a bunch of these countries where they have kidnapped Africans in chains, and they sell the men and women just like in ancient America. And it's happening right now today. You can buy and sell a human being and then do anything you want because it's your property. Why, Jermaine? Because it's legal in the Quran to buy and sell slaves. Mm -mm. The concept that a woman in Congress who's educated would say that only Israel, only Israel should be singled out where women have equal rights, women are on the Supreme Court, where gays have equal rights, where Arabs have equal rights, and there's one in the court, on the Supreme Court, and so on. They have more rights in Israel than every other country in the Middle East put together. So why would you take the most progressive, most equal rights for minorities in the entire region that's one, what is it, half a percent of the population, mm. half a percent of the land mass, and single it out as a criminal enterprise, there's only one reason. You're anti-Semitic. And that is the story of AOC and the rights of minorities. What is it with uh, Israel and the United States that uh, people of color hate so much in a sense? Um, because she went on this radio show here and she spoke about how bad israel is and ebro tied israel to white nationalism and racism so what you know, what it, are they not, trying to prove here by saying um israel quote unquote in their eyes is part of white nationalism and racism what are these people of color trying to trying to prove well Number one, it's ignorance combined with moronic stupidity. <laughs> if you go back into American history, probably the most important leader of the last hundred years in America 
uh, for African American equality is Martin Luther King Jr. Mm -hmm. And I think I don't think there's anybody that would argue with that. Martin Luther King Jr. was a passionate embracer of Zionism and the state of Israel. And he made a number of speeches where he said, if you are against Israel, you are against our movement, and you are anti-Semitic. I wish these current leaders of minority communities would read history and understand the fact, by the way, 99% of them have never been to Israel, so they don't know what they're talking about. They're reading communist progressive literature that is all about victimhood. The reality is there you go. there's one country in the Middle East where Africans and Asians and Europeans and Jews and Druze and Arabs and Muslims and Christians and agnostics and gays and straights all have equal rights and protection under the law. That's Israel. Israel has the largest gay <laughs> parade in the world outside of New York. And, Absolutely. I've, I shot a film of it. <laughs> and, 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 and yet, as you said, this racist, literally, this racist radio network show goes on and calls them anti-black, anti-woman, anti-minority, etc. When in reality, it's just, I don't know what else to call it, Jermaine, besides a lie. Until you get on a plane and go over there and you see it and you get treated equally, you don't know. I would urge, and I mean this from the bottom of my heart with as much enthusiasm as I can muster, go to the other countries, right, and announce yourself as gay or announce yourself as an African or announce yourself as a um an evangelical Christian, you're literally, I mean this word for word, putting your life on the line mm -hmm. and you could just disappear. Just disappear and never be heard from again. They have no court system. They have no modern 21st century legal protection for minorities. If you're not a devout Muslim, you probably will end up dead or at the minimum beaten. And until you experience the dichotomy, which is all the other countries and the rights they don't give people versus Israel where you have equal rights, you go back to my introduction. They're stupid and they're morons because they're just lying to their audience. And the audience they're lying to, Jermaine, doesn't know any better. The guy on the radio said that's the way it is, and so they believe it. And the perfect example is the putrid, uninformed policy decisions and opinions that come out of Alexandra Ortiz's or or Cortez's mouth, which for the most part are the uninformed opinions of an ex-bartender, right? Yep. <laughs> That's her background. And someone who got fired from hot dog on a stick for incompetence. <laughs> and that her background and now people put a microphone in front of her and she comes up with this Israel is a criminal country and a mm -hmm. criminal enterprise it doesn't even make any sense but yet it's news 